Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another frame game. As you can see my rocket ship sort of ran out of fuel and now I'm floating across the endless universe. However, I've managed to see and meet many interesting aliens on my voyage. That is why today I will be bringing you my top 5 aliens in gaming. The 5th ranked alien on my list is none other than a rather disturbing creature whose very existence spells out tragedy. These beings are horrific in nearly every way. That's right, we're talking about the evil Jar Jar Binks. Oh wait, that's my eventual worst alien species list. Oh, here we go. What I meant to say was the horrific Necromorph. Necromorphs are essentially an alien virus. This virus takes and mutates the corpses of any species and reshapes them into new extraterrestrial beings. These creatures have one sole purpose, which is to kill and create more corpses in order to spread its virus. These monstrosities are so impactful that some humans begin to believe them as being heralds of humanity's ascension. However, during the game, it is discovered that these creatures are created due to exposure to the all-powerful device known as the Markers. Another species known as the Brethren Moons use the Markers to control the Necromorphs. This in and of itself is designed to convert an entire planet into another Brethren Moon. To this end, Necromorphs will stop at nothing to eventually eradicate all life in the universe. Talk about a terrifying fate! With that being said, I think my ship is drifting out of the Necromorphs infested system. So I guess we will move on to the next alien on my list. The fourth ranked alien on my list is the ceremonial, religious, and politically ranked being. This alien has a strong sense of justice that is put to the test time and time again. That's right, I am talking about the Arbiter from the Halo franchise. This creature is not only an alien that assists in saving humanity, but even becomes a playable character in the second game. At first he serves under the Covenant Elites, however he eventually learns of their plans that would doom all sentient life in the galaxy. The Arbiter, Realizing that this horrific plan must not prevail, decided to betray his own people in order to protect the galaxy itself. This proves just how loyal he is to serving true justice and protecting the innocent. The buildup of this character's arc is none other than masterfully crafted, which is why he deserves a slot on this list. Not only this, but the Arbiter has become such a staple character in the franchise that he makes an appearance in Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Wars, and Halo 5 Guardians. Clearly, Microsoft Studios saw the potential of greatness in this character, resulting in his constant return to the franchise. That being said, the explosion just pushed us out of orbit, so I guess we'll move on to the next alien on my list. The third ranked alien on this list has a rather dark and depressing background. This character is sadly the last of his entire species, both parents also being deceased. However, despite all this, he certainly stands tall and moves forward without fear or regrets. That's right, I'm talking about the skillful Lombax known as Ratchet. Ratchet, from the Ratchet and Clank franchise, is portrayed as a wishful character who wants something more out of life. This character working at Gadgetron desires to join the Galactic Rangers, a dream that turns out to be relatively realistic once he manages to prove just how heroic he really is. This streetwise headstrong Lombax demonstrates immense bravery and compassion for others during some intense situations. This catches the Galactic Rangers' eyes, thus giving them no choice but to recognize him as a hero as well. In the end, Ratchet succeeds in achieving his dream, joining the Galactic Rangers, Q-Force, and Polaris Defense Force. Overall, this is a great story of someone going from zero to hero, changing his fate and eventually achieving his dreams. With that out of the way, it looks like we're moving on to the next entry.
The second ranked alien on my list is truly terrifying. This creature has a strong sense of smell, good hearing, and keen sense of combat. The alien from Alien Isolation is truly something to behold, that's for sure. This beast is quick and highly intelligent, making it a truly deadly force. His ability to climb on the ceiling and into vents makes the alien extremely unpredictable to boot. Even with the motion tracker in hand, it can be difficult to get a read on where the alien is, especially when you're inside the vents. This makes the stealth extra challenging and even more terrifying since your best survival tool are your ears. This means that you'll be listening closely to the sounds the alien makes on a regular basis. The horrific snarls, squeals, and loud stomping make you dread the idea of leaving any sort of hiding place. However, if you don't come out of cover, the alien will eventually sniff you out and take you down. Without a doubt, this creature is certainly the most deadly killing machine on my list. However, with that being said, he isn't necessarily the best alien, so let's move on to the number one slot. The number one ranked alien on my list is none other than Garrus Vakarian. Garrus is a Turian from the Mass Effect franchise. This character, like most Turians, is military trained. However, during his time in the military, he decided to leave and become a C-Sec officer. He eventually got assigned to investigate Saren Arturius, who the Council has labeled as Going Rogue. However, during this time, he ends up being betrayed, losing his whole team in the process. Garrus is a scarred being, emotionally and physically damaged in many different ways. However, Garrus eventually joins Commander Shepard's team in order to help him defeat Saren and the Geth. This ends up being my all-time favorite alien in any video game. Garrus quickly becomes best friends with Commander Shepard after a short time. They not only realize that they relate to each other, but also discover their unstoppable capabilities as a strong fighting force. Overall, this is one of the most worthwhile character game relationships I have experienced in any video game. So if you haven't played these games, I highly recommend you check them out when you get the chance. Hey, you! Do you think he's okay? Are you okay? Hello. Yes, I think so. I've been drifting in space for a while and could use some help. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Sora. And I'm Goofy. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Hey, I didn't catch your name. Uh, oh, sorry. My name's Spencer. That's a weird name. Well, how rude. But I guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth and turn it down. Uh, so, do you guys think you can get me out of here? Of course! Cool. Let me finish my outro to my viewers, and then we'll get out of here. Sure. It's a deal. Well, alright then. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video and want to see more, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment. And if you want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Only if you want to, of course. So anyways, I will see you all in the next video.